David Kennedy, 13 Copper Beach Drive. Um, thank you for, for coming to this meeting, having this meeting. Um, I'm actually excited that you guys are starting to get involved a little bit, and, and all the residents really appreciate your efforts. The big thing that I wanted to report on tonight was uh, Tim Dwyer reached out to Tom Calter about a week and a half ago um, to see if we could meet. And uh, Tim Dwyer and myself, Doreen Riley and Sean Riley, met with him Saturday morning. Um, in Mr. Coulter's office. There was a representative there from Therese Murray's camp, and we had very lengthy discussions about the turbines, and, uh, about the sound, and about the flickering. And it consisted of all four turbines. Um, Tom has assured me, along with the representative from Therese Murray's camp, that the DEP is going to be overseeing the, the CEC and the sound study. That it, once, once the project is finalized, once the um, project is finalized, uh, the DEP is going to oversee CEC and HMMH to make sure that they're following the guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, the second piece is, is that Tom is reaching out to the Mass Department of Health to get them involved, to come down and meet with us as a group, <coughs> and come to our houses to see what the actual sound is, is doing and what and flickering as well. The third piece is, is that Tom brought in somebody from the town that was part of a, a board before. She's well respected, Barbara Caprell, and um, she's going to be reaching out to one of the chairs here, one of the chairs at the Board of Selectmen, to broker a meeting between the, the residents, some of the residents of Kingston, along with elected officials, with Mr. Mr. Ruiz, his attorney, for, for KWI, and uh, Ms. O'Donnell and her attorneys, so we can sit down and put some short-term uh, goals in place in the sense of what can we do for the sound and what can we do for the flipper. So I just wanted to provide an update um, in anything that I get back from Mr. Calder, so I can come back and report back to you. Thank you. Thank you. One other thing I wanted to say relative to what Mr. Kennedy said. I mean, these kinds of meetings can be good things, but these kinds of meetings can also have some negative effects because if you have a community-based group, I, I think that you want to be careful about splintering off where you have a group of people and you have some people meeting and other people hearing about the meeting and not having necessarily been invited to the meeting. All I'm saying is that it could be a good thing. But I also say you have to consider the group and what's best for the group. Well, and if a representative called to call me prior to, to having that meeting, and he told me that people who have been affected have reached out to him on more than one occasion. This was the result of several um, requests that people meet with Tom and he had he was going to do it um, in an effort to um, see what if any role the state could play in the process that was what he said to me when he called me about the meeting 